<laughs> well, good morning. I wanted to show you this week how I taught 13 and a half hours and made $700. It was pretty fantastic. And I got to stay home with my little one. So this is going to be just me going through every single class, what I taught, how long it was, and I hope you find it helpful. If you did find it helpful, please like and subscribe because I've got a lot of stay-at-home mom online teacher content that is really, really helpful. Hopefully, my goal is to be helpful. And also, if you're not sure what OutSchool is or how you can even teach online, hit me up. My referral link is in the description and feel free to message me over on Instagram. So let's get started. Good morning, it's Monday and I'm prepping for my first class. I've got three classes today. First one is first grade, Montessori. So I'm laminating some things. We're doing insects, um, which is gonna be really fun, but I also hate insects. So it'll be fun for the kids. But anyway, that's my first class today. It's gonna be at 11 o'clock Eastern Central Time. Let's go. Oh, and when I'm prepping classes, this is what my sweet boy is doing. Hi Liam, can you jump? You look tired. There you go. <laughs> About to start class number two. I've only got five minutes between this class and so I had to like run to the bathroom and I've got like 30 seconds, so bye. So Liam, how was your nap? Was it okay? Just got done with my second class of the day. Um, both of those classes are an hour long each, so it was like two hours of teaching. The cat wants to say hi too. Um, so the way it works is he normally sleeps for two hours, but because he's getting bigger, he's starting to wake up in the middle of that second class. Um, and so it sounds mean, but what I do is I usually just have to let him sit in there because I can't leave the kids. So what he did today is he woke up around 12.30, so he slept for like an hour and a half. And I heard him kind of like moving around a little bit, and then I heard him cry for a second. So he either, and then he stopped, and so he either went back to sleep or he started playing. Um, which is amazing if he did, little man. And then he was quiet until like five minutes before I end. And I think more that is more he his body has a pattern. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. And his body has a pattern. He almost always wakes up at 12.55 because he knows that's when I'm done. So he woke up at 12.50 and cried and so that was kind of hard and so I actually told my kids I was like hey I'm gonna leave like a little bit early to go get my baby the parents are always so good with it they understand um but yeah he did pretty amazing only five minutes of crying and that's frustrated crying because he can almost crawl but not yet <laughs> About to teach my last class of the day. This one's only a half an hour, um, but I'm actually dropping this one next week. So don't worry, my numbers are still accurate with money and stuff. I'm actually gonna be making more money next week because I'm dropping this half an hour class. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, because Liam is currently awake watching a movie in there. So not ideal, not really what I like to do when I'm teaching. Um, I'm dropping it because he's been dropping his afternoon nap and I'm switching it with an art class on Tuesdays when my mom is here. I'll actually be making more money with that hour-long class than with this half an hour class Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So hey, the $700 is not accurate, it's actually more. <sighs> See, this is why I'm switching this class. So I put him in his playpen, he was watching a movie, and I could hear that he was, he was good and entertained for a few minutes, and again, it's only a half an hour class. Um, and then he just started getting really upset, and just crying and screaming, and oh, it was so sad. <sighs> anyway. So he was really, really sad, and then eventually he kind of settled down for the last few minutes, and then he actually went to sleep, and now he's sleeping right now. So the reason I had this class booked originally is because it worked with his nap time, but now his nap time is getting pushed back because it's shorter, blah, blah, blah. So here's the thing that I love about OutSchool. I'm changing my classes because, you know what, my child is more important, and if he needs me to not be teaching Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I won't do that. And it actually works great. I can just move this class to Tuesday when my mom's here. I already explained that. That is why I love OutSchool. It's your schedule. It's your choice. I'm just deciding to move it for my kid. Okay, it's Tuesday, day two of the week, and this is my big day. I teach five classes, and it's 
four and a half hours, I guess, if you total everything. So starting from 11 and then a couple of breaks and then I end at eight o'clock tonight. So it kind of goes by when my mom can be here and when my husband can be here and be home from work. Um, this first class is the class I taught yesterday. It's my first grade class. Today though, we are doing parts of an insect. Do you know the parts of an insect? That's what we're doing today and some math. It's gonna be fun. Okay, they love learning about the parts of an insect. So, round two. So we had so much fun drawing Chelsea the cheetah, talking about how fast cheetahs are and making up stories, and the kids do a great job. It's a creative writing class with art. It's just, I love it so much. Um, I'm gonna be adding another section of this next week. But now I've got the second to last of this handwriting class. Um, and we're gonna be doing some flower with lowercase letters. And um, my family's been over all day taking care of Liam, so no stress. <sighs> Last class of the day, seven o'clock tonight. And honestly, I am so tired. Um, Tuesdays are hard and we actually ordered DoorDash because I just did not feel like cooking after teaching and taking care of a baby all day. So just be prepared for that. If you do back-to-back -back classes and still mother, you're going to be exhausted. So I'm gonna get through this class and then I'm just gonna go like shower or something. And that sounds great, you know? It sounds so good. So I purposely don't do a lot on Tuesdays because I just know I'm gonna teach a ton on Tuesday and then the rest of the week is really chill. It's actually awesome. So see you on Wednesday. Happy Wednesday! Liam just went down for his big nap and so I'm hoping he stays asleep the whole time today. Even though last time he did wake up and he was fine, so I don't know, but we'll see. I think he's, he's pretty tired, so I think he should stay down. We are doing insect research today with different words and stuff, so it's going to be helping them with grammar and building sentences with insects, which is way more fun. Oh, I ordered caterpillars for my class. It's gonna be here on Friday, or they're gonna be here on Friday. We're gonna get to have caterpillars turn into butterflies. Hopefully they actually turn and uh, don't all die. So we'll see. <laughs> that class did so well with their insect research. It was so much fun and they did a really good job of writing because it really took up most of the class. So on to class number two, let's see how they do. So this is my last class of this one that I'm ever gonna do, this handwriting class, because Liam is dropping this afternoon nap and he's actually sleeping right now. <laughs> so, ironically, but anyway, it's it's actually really good because he's teething and so he's just kinda added his this nap back in for a little bit. And it's gonna be great because I'm sure next week he's gonna be wide awake and it would be really bad if I was teaching. So, let's do this. Happy Thursday! I actually just finished teaching my two classes and I forgot to jump on here, so sorry. But I, I just taught two classes today and I'm done. It's the best. So even though Tuesdays are kind of sucky, Thursdays and Fridays are fantastic. It's Friday and I look ridiculous. So it's April Fool's Day today, so I told the kids that we were going to dress up like super silly. Um, and this is very, very silly. There's the boy. He's about to go take a nap, but <laughs> I hope they committed because like if I'm the only one wearing this It's gonna be an issue. Anyway, happy April Fool's Day. Let's go to two lessons And that was the end of the week. I just had two classes. I looked ridiculous and man They delivered they also looked ridiculous and we told the silliest jokes. It was amazing So we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our Friday enjoyed that I hope it was helpful and just answered some questions you have yes you can had to turn off the sound you can teach from home it is possible you just got to do a lot of planning and it's okay to ask for help if you want to see our everyday life head over to Instagram and see you later